beautiful day today. But yo, it smells kind of stanky out here. Hey, what's up, fellas? So today we're gonna give you guys a, a good look of the um, Lexus LX470. Uh, this is a 1999. Let's get to it. All right, so the most important thing will be located right here. Not actually right here, but look at this. This is a V8, so we're gonna go check it out. This is not a, a turbo diesel. In other markets, other than the United States, you get this car with the turbo diesel engine. In this particular market, in the United States, you only get the gas. Um, this is a massive vehicle with a massive engine. So yeah, there you have it. You have your 2UZFE, your battery, you have your brake system, you have your massive V8. This is a 4.7 liter that does like two miles to the gallon or something like that. It actually does uh, 16 on the highway, 13 uh, on the city. So it's pretty it's pretty bad, um, as you'd expect from a car this size. You have your um, air intake system and you know, that's about it. It's, uh, it's extremely quiet though. I will tell you that when you're driving this car, it's extremely quiet to drive because yeah, when you're driving it, you don't even think that there is an engine running, especially a V8. So yeah, it's a, it's a very comfortable car. It's a luxurious vehicle. It has a lot of things that a lot of Toyotas don't. For, like for example, you actually have two horns in this one uh, instead of one to make that um, to make that really nice tone uh, compared to the Corollas that have the really wanky tone. Wanky. Wanky. Emphasize wank. Dink. These are bulletproof engines. This specific one is an original engine, has 230,000 miles, and it's running like nothing. Um, from every Land Cruiser, they will tell you, just keep an eye on your timing belt. Uh, that's the only really thing that goes bad with these. If you mess that up, well, say goodbye to your Land Cruiser or get a new engine. If you, if you have your timing belt replaced, you have peace of mind and that gives you 100,000 miles uh, to work with. So once you get that done and you have the paperwork documented and all that stuff, it you know, you, you shouldn't be concerned about it. Um, other than that, like I said, this car has 230,000 miles. And there's not a single thing that doesn't work other than the steering wheel um, motorized uh, stuff, which is, uh, com you know, it's it's a very common problem in these Lexuses these years. Uh, a lot of them do have problems with that kind of stuff. So uh, that's something to keep an eye on if you're looking for one of these. Uh, but other than that, legit, everything works. For, and it has a lot of amenities that we'll show you in a second. Pretty cool stuff. For example, like Sean's pointing out right here, you have your plastic uh, fog lights right here. But the main lights, look at that. That's glass. That shows quality. Glass is never gonna go like this. Do you see the do you see the tone of this? You can see the mileage right there. Can you see the mileage here? No, you can't. No, you can't. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll show you all the uh, the the rest of the amenities, the, the really cool quirks about this car. Um, so you guys can take a look at it. So you have the interior right there. You have um, space for two guys at the front. You got um your armrests that are very convenient very comfortable everything is leather because this is the lexus one uh compared to the land cruiser the toyota version transmission now you have a bunch of buttons around and and we'll go through one of them at a time and then you have your transfer case uh lever over here uh you have your climate control down here and all that stuff uh and you have your entertainment system over there um other than that you have the sunroof controls, your garage um, controller, what do you call this? Door opener. Garage door opener, thank you Sean. You got your sunroof over here, which you can close or open as you please. And then over here at the back, you got um, space for three fellows in the center. Um, you get your armrests, the big chungus. Um, and at the back you have two extra seats, which we'll, we'll go through uh, later on. You have your um, cigarette igniter over there. You also have a 120 watt um, power outlet. Over here in your center console, at the bottom, you have another uh, 12, volt, 12 volt, 120 watt uh, power outlet. So you have three. Um, and then look at the size of this thing. You can, like, this is huge. I can put my almost my entire arm in here. Um, you have your multiple levels in here. I just keep some stuff here, some stuff down there. You have plenty of amenities. And then you have, snap and then you have your uh, cup holder over here for both of these guys and then that's about it for the center console then um, okay so let's talk about over here right here 
you have so you have your transfer case down low and then right this button right here is to lock your uh, center differential for when you're off-roading and all that type of stuff from that on we move down below and you have uh, these buttons over here so this knob right here will control uh, depending on what you want uh, if you want comfort a ride or a sporty ride uh, this this symbol right here explains that it adapts for all the dampeners and everything in the suspension um, and then you can turn off the height control or on um, and using this one this is something that uh, very few vehicles have this is a, a high control system you can put it on high mode you can put it on low mode or you can put it in, in central and then if you look at the cluster it actually has a spot where it shows it to you um, with setting your on it's actually really cool we'll show it to you in a second go ahead and start the car real quick I still can't get used to the V8 sound. You got so anyways, you have the, your button right here that I talked about. I'm gonna press it and it's gonna go down. Sean, can you take a few steps back so that everybody can see it? All right, I'm pressing in three, two, one, we're going down. Did you see that? Just You just aired out. I just aired out. All right, you wanna see me go up? Take a step back. Three, two, one, we're going up. And it, and it has a it has a light on the dashboard that starts blinking and i'll show it to you guys in right now um so this light right here is the, it starts blinking when it starts moving and once it's done it stops blinking so when it's solid it's ready to go we'll do it one more time so that we can go up and i'll show you guys so it starts blinking right there that means it's working all right all right all right and then once it stops that means that you are at the level that you need so right there, we would be reaching the high spot. It's not there yet, come on. Okay, so now we're set. All right, so some of the quirks that I wanted to show you guys will be, we'll start with this one right here. This is one of the first models uh, that had uh, presets for your um, uh, seat positions. So, and because of that, you have your motorized uh, seats uh, right here. So you can adjust these or these or these, or these, or these, basically in every angle. And even the lumbar support, you have a, a button right here that will change the lumbar support for you to be comfortable no matter how much time you have to spend in this vehicle. So this is a car designed to be in it for hours and hours and hours. The next thing that I want to show you guys would be if we put on the key, we can actually, um, Sean, can you show them uh, what's about to happen in the back? So with this rear vent L, I'm about to press it. Three, two, one, I'm pressing it. Look at that, three, two, one, I'm pressing it. There you go. So you can control your side vents using just these two buttons right here, which is it's really cool. For example, when you are cruising by the beach, you put all your windows down and you want even more air. All right, do the sunroof, even more air, you do the side vents, all right? It's pretty fantastic. Um, the other thing that I want to show you would be this guy right here. If we close the door, and let's say you're in an environment like, for example, Los Angeles in a very congested city and you need to park in a tight spot and you're concerned that somebody's going to scratch your um, side mirrors. The only thing that you have to do is press a button right here. That, my friend, is what I call luxury. L let me show the button. It's located right here, right next to your uh, powered uh, mirrors. And let's do it again. Bruh. Technical difficulties. Camera this is camera shot. shot. It has. It, shot. I, I've, I am honest to you guys. That hadn't happened to me yet. So now I know. I gotta be careful with this one. Hopefully, you just need some uh, lubrication. And then the other buttons that I forgot to mention were um, these, which would be your seat uh, heaters. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. And then over here, you do have this uh, PWR and a second button. When you press the PWR, it basically tells your transmission to shift at um, higher RPM so that you can, can squeeze out more power out of this engine. However, uh, know that when you do that, it hurts on your wallet. Um, let's see. And then the second is when, you, for example, you're going down a slope, you press the button so that it doesn't let it shift past second gear so that you can compress as needed. As well as you have your overdrive button right here, which is very convenient just to get more, more power if you need to. Um, but yeah, and oh, and one last thing that I want to show would be uh, this button right here, which uh, if you see it right there, uh, if I press it, it gets basically gives you or gets rid of the tint of the um, rear view mirror. Um, everybody else, survey Sean right there. One thing that is really cool about this car is that every single window is automatic. You know, so one touch goes all the way up, one touch goes all the way down. Um, luxury vehicle, right? 
If you get this one out, then you can use your second one. So you can get both of them. Which is uh, something I actually haven't used yet. <laughs> Banned. See, it has a bunch of these things all around because getting into the car is uh, sometimes it's a little bit challenging, especially for people uh, my height. But using these are is extremely helpful. Let's see. So it, the interior, we were talking with Sean about this, is pretty similar to his LS400. Like a, lo a lot of the materials, colors, tones, and amenities are basically the same. I believe the seats are almost identical. Pretty much. Pretty much identical. And then, um, yeah. The one really cool thing about this one is that with, uh, with since you have a third row down in this corner over here, I don't know if you can see it. I'll show it to you. Um, it has um, climate controls. So this is the climate controls for the rear people. So you have your vents. I'll show it to you. But you have vents coming from de uh, down over here. Right now they're folded. We're, we'll fold them in a second. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the interior. We'll show you guys the back and uh, we'll be right back. Over here, really cool thing. Instead of being one full door, you have your knob, you, you have your lever over here. You open it and you have two instead of one. It's kind of like a truck. This comes in really handy. For example, when we were setting up for the video, I laid out all the camera stuff right here. You know, you can you can do whatever you need to do. And then once you're done, you just put it up. But anyways, um, so over here, you have your third row. Those were the um, vents that we were talking about and the climate control on your left. Uh, let's see, what else do you have? This one comes with a subwoofer over there. Um, and then you have these seats that are conveniently with the, using this lever right here. You can put them up, and you can put, and you can keep them like that, or like this one, you can uh, bring it down. Uh, in order to bring it down, you just do the same thing. You put them all the way there. You push them, and now it's right there. Um, and then you could just using this lever right here. Someone my size should never own a Land Cruiser. We're too small for this type of car, or this car is too big. But anyways, you can put them up like that, and with that, you can fit three people at the back. Three people in the middle, two at the front. That's three plus three plus two. How much is that? Tell them, Sean. Tell twelve. them. Twelve. Okay, that's not twelve. Divide by two plus one. What? No, it's eight. Three, three, two. Oh yeah, that is eight. Bruh. <laughs> it comes with a really nice kit of tools, uh, just in case you get stranded in the middle of the road. Um, if I can open it, that'd be fantastic. Um, but yeah, look at that. Is that leather? This is leather genuine leather the cluster is slightly different from the one from the land cruiser because it has better lighting it has uh, a lot more colors and things like that um so you know just this lexus signature stuff uh one more thing that would be pretty cool would be this button right here we don't necessarily use this anymore because we don't use antennas in the modern, modern day but back in the day if you wanted to raise your antenna which you can see right there look at it it's going up and down you can control it with the press of a button you have your uh, defroster for your for your mirrors and you know you control your temperature right here and that's pretty much it i hope you guys uh like this video if you guys like this type of content like and subscribe make sure to check out our um bgg stickers which are going to be um pretty much on sale soon we're going to set up an etsy so that you guys can uh uh check it out pretty soon and yeah you have anything to say to the camera sean if you buy a sticker a child can get funded for what? Who knows? Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Peace out.